Hi there, this is Jen and thanks so much for stopping by today. Today I am super excited to be sharing a card using the Butterfly Effect stamp set from Visible Image. This is from the most recent release from Visible Image and um, I've had the stamp and I haven't used it yet and so I was really excited to get this out and create a card. This is a really beautiful um, big butterfly and as you can see this is a four and a quarter by five and a half card and it fills up that space um, and it's just a stamp that I really love. So uh, to start out I'm going to go ahead and ink up my uh, stamp in some black Versafine Claire. This is um, actually the Nocturne. And originally I did not emboss this image, so this is just the um, image stamped in black with no embossing powder on top of it. And I'm going to go ahead and color this with some Creative Expression Shimmer Shakers. And the colors that I'm using are Tangy Tangerine and Lush Pink. And I love these little containers because they have like a little salt and pepper shaker um, top with three little holes in it. Um, and so it has like a little snap thing that closes over the top as well as a lid so none of that powder gets out if it happens to tip over and so i'm going to go ahead and i first started adding the uh, shaker powder first and then activating that by spritzing it with water uh, and then what i ended up doing was just taking the powder and dipping my brush in some water and activating it that way. And so I'm gonna do this first layer of color with the tangerine color towards the center of the butterfly and then on the outside wings is going to be the pink. And so I'm just gonna keep layering until I get the color that I want and trying to blend those two um, colors together. But I end up taking my heat tool and drying this and I wanted the colors to be a little bit more vibrant so I am going to get out my Tombow markers and finish the coloring of this so I'm going to be using Tombows in 725 and 933 um, but first I'm going to splatter it a little bit with some white paint I thought it was done there and then I as I looked at it I was like oh I wanted a little bit darker and so after I splattered it I figured that out and so that's why I splattered it first in case you're wondering um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just take those Tombows and darken up that color a little bit I don't want to take away from the um, shimmer color and so I tried not to cover it up too much with the Tombows but I just wanted to make sure that was a little bit darker than what it was um, and I don't think I mentioned, but I'm using uh, Bristol Smooth cardstock for this image and for this coloring. And so Tombows are one of my favorite markers. Um, I love how vibrant the colors are. And I'm just taking those and putting the color down and then activating that color and moving that color around. Not really activating it, but <laughs> moving the color around with my paintbrush with a little bit of water. And for the darker colors, it really does not take a whole lot of water to get these colors to uh, move around and look really beautiful. So I'm just going to do one side of the butterfly um, on camera and then I'll go ahead and finish that up. And then I'm going to fussy cut this out and I'm cutting it right along the edge of the butterfly. I didn't want any white space. And as you'll notice, I did not cut the antenna out. I just cut them right off and I will add those back in um, when I'm about done with the card. Um, at this point, I had also went ahead and stamped that up in some embossing ink and then covered that with some clear embossing powder to give a little bit of that raised look with some shine. And then I'm going to take another my card panel and do my background. And so I'm using a little bit of white pigment ink along with this other stamp that is in the set. And I am using my stamping block to just go ahead and stamp those images out. And then there's this little butterfly in there and I'm going to take that and stamp that out as well. And then I will cover that white pigment ink in some white embossing powder and set that with my heat tool. And then I'm going to take the stencil that is called uh, Distorted Chest Stencil and I'm taking some low tack tape and adhering that to the back so my stencil stays in place. And then I'm using this Nouveau Moonstone Paste and I'm not doing it over the entire background but more in the center. Um, and this I'm just showing you, I like to 
when I remember, um, take the packaging that the paste came in and wrap it over the top of the container and then screwing on the lid. This helps to keep the paste from drying out, which I've had happen to me many, many times. And so um, I started doing that. You can take a piece of saran wrap or something like that as well. Um, that would work, but that's just what I had. And so that's what I used. And so far, so good. Uh, it hasn't dried out. So after the paste has dried, I'm taking some Distress Ink in Mermaid Lagoon and I'm going over my background. I'm going over actually fairly lightly. I know some of that looks a little bit darker, but I'm taking my blending brush and I'm going over that really lightly um, to bring out the white embossing as well as to cover that uh, paste with a little bit of color. And then after I've done that, I'm taking some Distress Spray in Faded Jeans and I'm just spritzing that on the panel and then I'm going to also spray that with a little bit of water uh, to get that color to move around and to distribute it um, on the card a little bit and then I'm going to take my heat tool and dry and then I'm also taking a baby wipe and kind of blotting up a little bit of that excess color that is still a little bit wet and then I'm taking that same distress spray and adding some splatter and then to bring out a little bit of more of that white embossed image in the background, I am taking a uh, cloth and kind of just buffing off the color that has settled on top of the embossed image. And then I went ahead and I trimmed that down slightly smaller than a four and a quarter by five and a half and adhere that to a white card panel. And then for the butterfly, I added a few pieces of foam to the back. When I do butterflies, I always um, adhere foam to the center or body part of the butterfly so that the butterfly wings stick up off of the card. Um, and then here I attempt to add some antenna using a black Posca pen. And then I'm covering that with a little bit of clear glaze. Um, I added the sentiment that says every single thing you do matters. And that is it. That finishes this card off. Um, this was super fun. I absolutely love the way it turned out. I wasn't really sure initially if I would like that blue background with the butterfly colors. Um, and I almost said, oh, I'm going to start over on the butterfly, but I didn't. And I'm glad I stuck with it because it's a little bit of a different color combo for me, but I actually um, end up really liking it. So um, I hope you like it too. Uh, if you did like this video or find it informative, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. As always, I thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to spend with me, and I hope to see you next time.